One blatant hypocrisy common exhibited on the political left concerns violent retribution. Many leftists claim to hate retribution, and many honestly do, as they should. Some of those who claim to hate retribution, however, do not hate it as much as they seem to think that they do. They claim that retribution is evil. They claim that even the most depraved of murderers and rapists should be rehabilitated and treated like human beings. And then they remember that their political enemies exist. They go from wanting to treat a brutal murderer like a human being to wanting to brutalise or kill someone because they are right-leaning. You can murder and rape, assault and torture, and you deserve to face no retribution. But if you ever hold right-leaning political beliefs, then you ought to suffer. They love rehabilitation, except for when they are fantasizing about gullotining their political opponents in mass. Except for when they are defending the death penalty and gulags. Except for when someone disagrees with them. Assault is forgivable, murder is forgivable, rape is forgivable. But the moment someone disagrees with them on political matters, there is no amount of suffering that could quench their sadistic thirst for retribution. Bring politics into the picture, and suddenly violent retribution becomes much more popular. A murderous criminal deserves rehabilitation. A political criminal deserves to hang. I remember when Kyle Rittenhouse was on trial, and in an instant, countless retribution-opposed leftists were fantasizing about him having the shit beaten out of him, and in some cases even being raped. That case really did show everyone how hideously inconsistent sizable portions of the political left can be. One minute they are espousing their hatred of retribution, and the very next they are practically praying for their enemies to be brutalized. Such hypocrisy is indicative of the fact that some leftists have no values whatsoever, and are merely deranged tribalists who regard politics as little more than a team sport. Retribution is fine so long as it is done to a member of the other team. If that is what you think, then you don't oppose retribution at all. If you only oppose retribution when doing so is convenient, you don't oppose retribution at all. Such inconsistency betrays a lack of serious values. Of course this hypocrisy is not something that all leftists are guilty of. It is not even something that most leftists are guilty of. But it is something that a good number of people who claim to be leftists are guilty of. I say claim to be because in truth these people are hardly leftists at all. They throw out their left-wing values the moment it becomes convenient. For them, politics is just a game of tribalism, devoid of any serious values. A team sport with lots of conflict, but not a meaningful value in sight. It is also worth noting that I would not prefer that these people support retribution consistently. Being inconsistently good is better than being consistently bad. I prefer that people support good things inconsistently, rather than consistently support bad things. But the ideal position is consistently supporting good things, and we should settle for nothing less.